happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be doing some dip powder swatches and actually reviewing a dip powder kit that i got from amazon this is actually one of my favorite uh amazon dip powder kits and it is a kit here from the brand gh dip not sure if you all have heard of them before but i have like four of their kits um, this was probably one of the first Amazon dip kits that I tried. Um, so this was like the second dip kit in general that I actually tried and absolutely fell in love with these dip powders. Um, I think that they are actually kind of, they're kind of comparable to double dip uh, dip powders to be honest with you. They're, they're just as smooth and just as good. But um, anywho, I want to uh, swatch this kit with you all. I recently got this in one of my um, Amazon nail supply hauls and this is their glow in the dark kit. Um, and then it's, I guess it's the number G66. 06 and so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this with you all it comes with 12 different colors all right yes this is what they are looking like so it, the kit it does come with like all the instructions about how to do it and this these are the color selections of like all the different colors that they have um, this is actually one of the kits that I have one of their nudes I have yet to try one of their dip liquids though so when I swatch my dip powders I actually exclusively use the dip liquids when I do swatches but then typically when I'm doing dip powder sets I normally use gel polish and I normally use the Beatles uh, gel base and gel top coat and I found that these two in combination with each other can get you nails that last up to like three weeks I've had my dip powder sets using that combination combination last up to three weeks before so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get these colors swatched for you all okay so these are all the dip powders here normally when I swatch my dip powders I do six at a time so I'm gonna go ahead and just line up six of the colors get those swatched and then line up the rest of them here with these um, they are 0 0.6 ounces so 17 grams and I found that actually this is a lot of product um, I've my first set that I ever got from them um, was a multicolored set and I've not even really made a dent on any of the dip powders that I have so um, this stuff will last you a really really long time I do also have my swatch sticks already ready to go so let's hop right on into this y'all this is the first color here we got the GW11 GW10 GW6 GW9 like that's a nice neon yellow or green GW3 this is GW1 all right so these are all six colors so I'm gonna go ahead and get to swatching um, again I do use the dip liquid so I normally try to keep one set of dip liquids open at a time just so that like they don't dry out or go bad and so these were the most recent ones I use so this is what I'm used to swatch them with these are the dip liquids from Gelin and um, I do have a review of the gel and dip powder kit as well. I will link, link that in the description in case you all are interested. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my dip liquid uh, ready here. And then I'm gonna just let y'all watch me swatch, okay? Okay, happy people. I wanted to pop in really quick and just explain to you all how I do my swatches. I do swatch on the inside of the swatch stick and I just apply a thin layer of the dip liquid base coat and um, then I just put my swatch stick inside of my dip powder containers and I actually just let it sit there I always do like six or seven um, swatches at a time and I let the uh, swatch stick sit in the dip powder until I go through and finish the first round of all of the dips and then by the time I get back to the first um, swatch that I did is normally dry and ready to go and so then I'll take it out dust it off as you all saw me do and then apply that second layer of base coat and repeat that process now you see me this is the second coat already applied just going in dusting everything off and that's how I do my swatches so this is how I found the quickest and easiest way to do them okay so now that I've gotten my two layers of each dip in I am gonna go in with the activator and just activate all the nails and after that the swatch will be done um, I normally like to swatch in the inside of the tip so that um, essentially once I'm done you'll see what it looks like glossy and the underside is what it would look like matte. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and activate all the nails. That is the first six colors. I am going to go ahead and swatch the rest of them off camera and then I'll be back to show you all how all the colors look up close. So I just finished swatching all of the dip powders. Um, it took me maybe like 
15, 20 minutes to do it, to do all of them. But I do want to show you what they all look like up close. So um, I'm just going to jump in. I'm not going to do it in any particular order. I did notice though at the bottom, um, even though they have the GW and then a number, they also have like an actual name. So I'm going to go with the names when I read them off and show you all the colors. Um, so the first color here we have is Wild Cherry. So this is like a nice, you know, hot pink color, perfect for like the summertime. Um, this is what it looks like swatched. Um, like I said, really beautiful pink, really nice and vibrant. All the colors here are really nice and vibrant. It's a really nice uh, kind of spring summer collection that I got here. Um, the next color here is Carnato, Carnatio. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it's like a really nice uh, light nude color. Um, so let me show you which wall, what that looks like up close. Yeah, it's really pretty. I think I would actually like this nude on my skin tone. Well, actually it's kind of light, but it's pretty though, so I like it. I think I could use it for maybe marbling or something. The next one here is green light. So this is like a perfect bright neon green, you know? And that's what that looks like up close. It's really pretty. Okay, next we have navy blue. So it's just a nice, beautiful blue color. And it does look just like a navy blue. So yeah, that's really pretty as well. So it looks like matte. Um, the next one we have here is reddish orange. I don't feel like this looks like a reddish orange. I really feels like it looks like a beautiful neon orange color, like a nice, bright, vibrant orange. So that's what that looks like. Really beautiful. I'm loving all the colors in this collection. Like they're just, they're screaming summer and springtime. And then the last one here is called grass green. Can't say that that looks like, you know, the color of grass. Grass is more of a deeper green, but it looks like a nice neon green color to me. So that's what that looks like. Okay. So that's the first six colors here. Now I'm going to go in and show you all the last six colors that, well, the first six colors I swatched actually. Okay, so first up here we have is the sky blue. And this looks just like the name. It's a beautiful sky blue color, a really nice light blue. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Love this, very nice. Then the next one we have here is beige white. So it just looks like a nice off white color. Kind of like a creamy white almost, or maybe like a, I, well, no, not ivory. Maybe ivory slightly. But it's really pretty though, so yeah, just like a nice little kind of milky white actually. That's what I'm looking for. It's like a milky white color. So that's what that looks like. Then we have neon pink. Again, another nice vibrant pink. It's not as um, kind of reddish as the other one. This one's more of like a neon hot pink almost. Really beautiful, kind of playful pink. I like that a lot as well. Okay. And then next we have is the neon yellow. It looks exactly how it sounds. Y'all see how bright this is? Like this is a super bright yellow. Um, very pretty though. So that's what that looks like here. Okay. And then we have purple haze. This is an absolutely gorgeous and stunning purple. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I can't wait to put this to use. Um, I do have a, another purple like this in my collection already. I got it from Double Dip. But um, yeah, this purple is just as pretty as that one. Love that. And then the last one in the collection here is bright orange. And again, just like the name, it's a really beautiful, nice bright orange color. Kind of a softer orange than the other one that's in the collection here. This is what all 12 other colors in this collection looks like. They are absolutely stunning. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, you guys, this is a glow in the dark collection. So I'm gonna see if I can get these bad boys to glow soon. Wow, you guys see that glow? Yes, this is what that glow kit is looking like, okay? You all see this glow? It's not even completely pitch dark in this room. I'm sitting next to a window. So if I was, if it was pitch black black, y'all, this stuff would be shining like crazy. Okay, so that was just a glimpse of how the glow effect works. Um, if I was in a pitch black room, these things would be like blinding you all. I actually kept, like before I even opened the kit up, I actually um, put my light just over the packaging. And y'all, this glow, the glow in these, these powders last a really long time. I must have had it on for 60 seconds with the light and I kind of let them sit for a little bit and like even after 30 minutes I could still see the glow 
with these dip powders. So I know that the glow on these are gonna be absolutely amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into my nail design here. So this is a design I'm actually gonna do. I had saw this design months and months ago. I wanted to recreate it and I saved it actually. So it's actually this design right here. I don't know if you all can see that but it is from Solaris Dips, and I just thought that this manicure was just so cute. I saw it on her page last year sometime, and by the time I wanted to do it, like spring and summer was over. This is the look that I'm going to go ahead and recreate today. I just think it's so cute and so simple. I'm gonna go ahead and file, shape, and buff my nails. I am gonna do a set on my natural nails today because Honestly, I just don't feel like wearing any full cover tips. Um, my nails, they're still recovering from the damage I got from the acrylic set that I had on. But yeah, I just want to do some natural nails today, you guys. So yeah, I'm going to file shape buff my nails off camera and I'll be right back. All right, happy people. So I am back. I went ahead and file shape buff my nails off camera. I do have a dedicated nail prep video too. Um, in case you all are curious about what that process looks like for me, I'll leave that link down in the description below. Um, this nail here, um, um, we're not gonna pay too much attention to this one. This one actually has two layers of clear dip over top of it. Um, and that is because it actually cracked um, on the, it, there was a crack here and it was a little bit deeper than it needed it to be. And, and it also cracked kind of on the surface here. So like I said, my nails are still kind of recovering from that acrylic set. So I just threw some dip powder on top of it just to let it grow out. Um, but I'll probably be clipping that nail soon. But anywho, these are the nails that we're going to be really working on and focusing on with this set. And I did go ahead and pick out the colors from the collection. So I'm going to be using that uh, grass green, grass green. Okay. And then the beige white. I was trying to decide like if um, I wanted to do gel liquids with dip powder, if I wanted to go ahead and do an actual dip powder application. And just because I'm wanting to kind of get through the set really quick, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use dip liquids again. It's so crazy I've been using dip liquids lately because typically I'm a gel dip kind of girl. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use these, especially they're already out, they're sitting here. So I'm gonna use the gel and base and activator. I'm not gonna use the top coat. I am gonna go ahead and just um, use gel base and top. I'm gonna go in with a thin layer of the gel base. I did also apply a peel off base coat. I use my NYC peel off base coat. And that is the base coat that I use when I kind of want my nails to pop off within a day. And just for dip powder application, in case you guys are new, you'll want to kind of go in at an angle and then just dip straight in like so. I normally hold it for three seconds and then release. Okay. You see, nice smooth application. I am gonna go ahead and dip one more time after that. Hold it for three, release, and then you're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and tap off. And yeah, nice smooth application there. So whenever I'm using dip liquids, I do go ahead and just leave the powder on my hands as I go through dipping all the rest of the nails. And that's just to allow for it to give it more time to dry. So I'm gonna go in with my pinky now. Um, on the pinky, um, I'm gonna do with that green color and then um, the ring finger and the middle finger, I'm gonna do that, that white beige color, okay? So just another layer of base. Get my powder ready. And again, I'm gonna dip in at an angle here, like so. Hold it for three. Release, let me tap off the excess here. Okay, and then I'm gonna dip one more time at an angle. Hold it for three, and release, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my nails like that, and I'll be right back. So the first layer of dip is all done. Next, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush. I have this one here sitting in front of me. And you'll just wanna dust off the excess here. So because I'm using a lighter color on these two, I normally use a different dust brush for that, simply because I don't wanna contaminate it for the middle 
nails, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. And then you'll just lightly dust off the powder. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my second layer of all of the dip powders here. And I really, really enjoy using the GH dip powders because they are nice and finely milled. Like when I say this stuff is just, it's so smooth. Like, yeah, I really, really enjoy working with the GH dip powders. Like they're like my number one favorite Amazon dip powder brand. So I'm gonna go through with another base coat here and just apply it to all the nails. So this is what the second coat of dip powder looks like, okay? Again, I'm gonna go in and dust off the excess. So for my green nail, I have this one here. And that is a really nice, beautiful green color, wow. Okay. And then for my white nails, I have this one. Overall, the application looks very, very smooth. Just the exception of this right here but I can go ahead and fix that with filing. But yeah, y'all, two dips and it's looking beautiful. So now I'm gonna go ahead and activate all the nails. I am gonna apply two layers of activator though, just to make sure it's all good to go. Just so that I know that they're all the way hardened up. Okay, so the nails feel all hard and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and file and shape them. Um, I'm just gonna go around the edge ever so lightly just to make sure I keep my shape here. And then I'm gonna go through and buff the surface of the nails just to make sure it is nice and smooth. Okay. The main one I'm gonna worry about is this one over here. All the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed just like I like them. Now I am gonna go in with my Beatles Gel Base Coat. I'm gonna take the base coat and apply it to all the nails here. And then I'm gonna go in and apply top coat. And when I do the top coat for these nails, I'm gonna mix in the glitter for it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the base coat now. Okay, so this is what the base coat looks like after it's been cured. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my glitter on these two middle fingers here. I do have my Beatles top coat that I'm just gonna go ahead and put some on my mixing plate here. Okay, I might need more than what's left in this bottle though, so we'll see if I'm able to still get my finished look here. And then I do have these glitters here and I'm just gonna put it here in the top coat. I'm just going to sprinkle some on top of the top coat here like so. That's pretty. Okay. And then I'm just going to mix those together and apply it to the nail. And I found that this is the easiest way for me anyway to apply loose glitters. So it just makes my life a lot easier when I'm dealing with loose glitters because I'm really not that good at working with them. It's just like a lot less messy for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that to the nail like so. And it's nice to use like a no wipe top coat when you're doing this method so that, you know, it's not like a sticky layer when you're done. But look how pretty this is. Oh, M G. like wow, this is absolutely stunning. Okay, I'm already loving it. <laughs> this is really pretty. But yeah, when mixing in that top coat, it just gives you so much control over the glitter. And I love it. This is coming together quite nicely, you guys. And this is just a really nice, easy, simple set too. I know sometimes when I do my sets, they can get a little bit extra. So 
you know, I wanted to keep some variety in there and just throw in the simple look as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other finger. Okay, happy people. So after you're done cleaning up your side walls, you wanna go around the edge of the nails to make sure no glitters are sticking out. So that's what you just saw me do with the cuticle stick. And then now I'm just taking my nail art brush and just flattening out all the glitters on the nail just to make sure um, I have somewhat of a smooth surface so that there aren't any glitter sticking out. And then I'm trying to get as close as possible to the cuticle and the side walls of the nail with the glitter. And I just keep moving the glitters around until I get everything to look how I want it to look. Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? Holy smokes, I am loving this, okay? That is really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Wow, you guys. All right, so it's been cured for 60 seconds. I am loving the sparkle on this. Holy smokes, it's gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go in and just top coat all the nails and then I'll be all done. So this top coat is just about out, you guys. So I think I'm gonna go in with a different top coat. I guess it's time for me to open a new one up. Okay, yeah, I still got a little bit left in there. I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish off this set with my top coat. All right, cap the free edge too. This is just really pretty. Oh, wow. Do you see how those glitters come to life? Oh my gosh. That is just gorgeous. And I love because I used the top coat to apply the glitters that, that there's like, like no loose glitters flying around as I'm trying to apply my top coat, which is just amazing. It's really beautiful. Wow. I should do like an all glitter set one of these days. Oh, what if I bling out the nail on top of the glitter? Holy smokes, you guys. Okay. Got some ideas here brewing in my head. This is really pretty though, really, really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is looking really good, you guys. Um, I do feel like there's still a lot of texture on the nail and I'm sure that's just because of the uh, glitter. So I'm gonna go in actually with one more layer of top coat just to fill in those grooves and we'll be all done you guys. I kinda wanna smooth out the nail a little bit too. She's looking pretty good. So I did go ahead and do the thumbnail off camera. The top coat has been applied. I actually did two layers of top coat. And while I think I replicated the set like exactly to the T, I'm gonna insert a picture again of what it looks like, right? Yeah, I mean, I did that. It's, it's like the exact same set. But, you know, I have to add my own little twist to it. So I'm just gonna add just a little something to the green nails. I found this in my nail supplies. And at first I was gonna add some bling, but I was like, it really didn't go with it. And I feel like these match these glitters perfectly. And so these have a diamond shaped sequin in here. And that's what I'm actually gonna put at the cuticle area of all of the green nails. And so I have them all sized out right here, ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go in with another layer of top coat. Um, this top coat is pretty much done, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my IGL Beauty top coat. This is slowly kind of becoming one of my favorite top coats, you guys. So I think Beatles has a contender with that too. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply a thin layer to all the nails, right? And that's also gonna just give me another layer of beautiful shine to the nails. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply those sequins. I am gonna go ahead and just do a top coat on all the nails because I really want it to shine really nice and beautifully. And then within the top coat, I'm gonna add the sequins. So I do wanna make sure it's on the right side though. Like that, and just place it right here. Oops, like so. Perfect, look at that. Isn't that like the perfect touch to the nails? Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds and I'll be back. 
All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am absolutely loving how this turned out. Do you all see that glitter nail? Wow, I feel like I am blind right now by how beautiful and sparkly it is. I love it. And I think just adding that little bit of touch here at the cuticle on the other nails definitely made this set my own. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this set. I do want to give another shout out to the um, inspiration. I think it was Solaris Dips. I am going to link her Instagram page down below because I do like all the sets and stuff that she does. But yeah, how do you guys think I did at recreating the set? I think it turned out so cute and I love that I added that little bit of something here at the cuticle area, you know, just to make the set my own. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. She here, she cute, it's summertime. She ready to go by the pool and be seen, you guys. So yeah, again, I did use the dip powders from GH Dip. I used the colors grass green and beige white. And I really enjoy working with these dip powders. I've done numerous sets with these on my channel and they're probably, like I said, by far one of my favorite dip kits from Amazon. And the kit that I got, so it was 12 colors, they all glowed in the dark. When I got the kit, it was on sale for like 20 bucks. Um, so I will leave it linked down in the description box in case you guys wanna get your hands on it. So the other cool thing about this set, so y'all already know what it does, okay? Okay. Yeah. She glows in the dark, y'all. I said she glowing, y'all. She she glowing, y'all. So I mean, it's not like completely pitch black where I am right now, so you can't really see the glow all that well. I'll try to do it again here when um, it's nighttime. But yeah, y'all, the glow on this is like really beautiful. Yeah, you see. So yeah, like I said, I have to do it at nighttime too. But I wonder if the one with the glitter on it, if you can still see the glow on that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I just wanted to do a set on my natural nails. I was missing my natural nails there for a little bit. So I wanted to give them some love, let them shine through in some of these sets and some of these nail tutorials that I do as well. So yeah, and let me know what's you all's favorite way to apply dip powder application too. I've been using dip liquids more lately here, but typically I do use gel liquids. So yeah, I guess I'm kind of getting good at both methods. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday videos where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And so yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!